Capricorn, this is Soul. What's up? I think Spirit doesn't want me to do your reading today. This is my third recording, my third attempt in trying to record a video for you. It keeps freezing on me for some strange reason. And I think when I'm, you know, have the camera on myself, it's a new laptop. Um, and then when I go to put the uh, camera in frame, that's when it starts to freeze. So I think I'm bumping something or I don't know what the hell's going on. But anyway, I was <laughs> saying that um, in the uh, previous video, the very first one when it froze, I, I you know turned the cards over and, and I'm like the three of swords. Oh wow! So maybe it wasn't a good, uh, maybe it was a good idea that it did freeze. So you have received the three of swords, but you had a mixture of uh, energies. There, I, I remember the page of cups, and uh, I think you had like the seven of wands, uh, and something else. I I don't recall. But um, anyway, this is my third attempt. And trying to deliver this message to you. So, with that being said, Capricorn, this is going to be your bi-weekly messages uh, beginning May 6th and ending May 19, 2019. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. All right. As before, using the Afro Goddess Tarot to deliver your messages, Capricorn. Now, let's get into frame one more time and see what happens. All right, so far, so good. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't go out on. All right, so energy for Capricorn Spirit. What are the messages for Capricorn for the next two week period of time? What can you tell us? The potential energy for Capricorn. All right. All right, Capricorn, you ready? Let's do this. These cards have such a slick back, it's very difficult to even select the cards. And I'm not saying a slick back in a bad way, it's just that it's really they're shiny and they're very slick. Okay. Okay. All right, so the shadow card energy, of course, as you know, may be energy that plays out Capricorn along with the rest of the energies that are revealed. If it is a major, please pay attention. Uh, to the energies of that major, whether it's in the upright uh, position or the reverse position. So the shadow card energy for you for the next two week period of time, Capricorn, relates to uh, Seven of Cups. So this is a card that's in the upright position. Be careful of any uh, illusions. There may be options for you to pick and choose from. Uh, cups do represent relationships, but this is the illusion card. If, it, <laughs> if you didn't know it, you know it now. Don't get yourself caught up in any illusions because there are these cups that present themselves with many different things, okay? That could be relationships, that could be a job, money, family. Cups represent children. Um, so, yeah, this is your energy, your shadow card energy. Do not get caught up with any types of illusions. Keep it real. All right, so your overall energy for the next two... Oh, my God. For the next two week period of time, Capricorn, you wouldn't believe this. Look at that. I just said in the first video, well, trying to do your first video, the Three of Swords was there. Ooh. And remember, I said that I think Spirit is trying to not let me do this uh, video for you. What the hell? Okay, so, but I shuffled it for you live, and, you know, I'm going to go with it. So we have the energy of the Three of Swords showing up here as the overall energy. Quite a bit of you aren't going to like this shit, but that's okay. Um, this is a card of grief, separation, heartache, mental conflicts. Now, it could be because it is three, an interference, a third party interference. Doesn't always have to be now, it's a heart. So it could indicate a third party interference when it comes to romantic relationships. If you're involved in a love triangle, then, you know, this is the energy that you may uh, experience during this two week period of time. This could be a divorce or pending divorce. 
there's a separation. This is a grief card. This could be involving um, all other aspects, you know, like, um, you know, with pets, with family members, with friends, breakups with friends, um, some sort of dissociation with family. This could be uh, co-workers, whatever this three of swords means for you during this two week period of time. That's what's coming up. And remember, the seven of cups is the illusion card. So don't get caught up with any illusions of any kind. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Capricorn represents that three of swords. Wow. This three of swords also too can come in for um, people who are in relationships, but there is a separation due to um, them being um not necessarily uh, misplaced, but a distance from each other. You know what I mean? Like a separation, like uh, just for an example, uh, they could be, you know, uh, serving time in armed services. They're still together as a couple, but the separation, the distance between them causes grief. OK, or unhappiness or some kind of mental stuff psychological following the three of swords in the upright capricorn now is the uh, two of wands so of course it could be someone who's dealing with a, a fire sign uh aries leo sagittarius male or female this is in the past position it follows the three of swords so maybe that's what it is um things are you know uh not progressing or there's stagnation uh in terms of movement I always get that with, with the two of wands. The three of wands would be that things are moving forward, okay? This comes in also, too, if there's no one who is dealing with any separation or a relationship uh, issues, then you're just, ideals are coming to you. You're writing down things for the future with the two of wands showing up. Following the two of wands now in the upright position, Capricorn is the Empress card. So this is a good card. Wow. The Empress is about growth and expansion. She's pregnant, so there could be female Capricorns who are um, the receptors of pregnancy, the news of giving, uh, there's news, somebody's pregnant. Someone could be giving birth. This also, too, is a number three, and it may involve, um, you know, I had said in another video that when the imprint shows up, and it is a number three, that I'm not going to discuss love triangles because it's such a beautiful card, and it's more powerful and positive than it is just because it represents a number three, okay? I feel that um, with this particular card, it's about growth and expansion in some type of area. It's a card of beauty. And it's a card of someone receiving, uh, there's news of a pregnancy. Someone may become pregnant during this two-week period of time. If it's not a female Capricorn that's looking at this video, then it's somebody that you know. Okay? Someone could be uh, giving birth as well. That's the Major Arcana, the Empress card. Next up after the Empress card here, uh, Capricorn, is now we have the six of cups in the uh, reverse position so that's the no answer to any romantic questions or allowing the types of energies um from your past to try to return because you're going to be yet again unhappy or some sort of dealing with some sort of emotional shit this is the opposite of the nine of cups when it shows when the nine of cups shows up in the upright it's the yes answer when the six of cups shows up for me in the reverse that's a no answer do not entertain people from your past now because this is a general reading that could be ex lovers remember your overall energy is the three of swords separation pain grief mental conflicts um someone from your past may try to reach out to you um, but they're not really, this could be a friend. This could be a family member that you haven't seen in a while. This could be an ex-lover. You can choose to do what you want. The Seven of Cups says do not get caught up in any illusions. If someone reaches out to you from your past, if it is a romantic relationship or anybody, platonic a friend that you haven't seen in a while but there was some sort of discord between you then that means with the reversal of this card it's still there or still going to present itself someone comes out 
not happy. See, because the cups represent emotional happiness and contentment, depending on what cup shows up. And in contrast, this is what I'm showing you. OK, everybody's happy. And, you know, you reconnect with people from your past, possibly. Uh, this is childhood memories, ch childhood friendships, um, exes. So I feel that somebody from the past wants to try to return. Now, that could be a family member. That could be a family member, but that's the no answer to entertain that uh, energy uh, because we have the three of swords overall and then we have the six of cups in the reverse. That's not going to turn out to be a pleasant situation. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female is the energy related to that six of cups. And as all the cards are revealed there, Capricorn, for you. You know, you can create your own story. I'm just giving you my spin and what I feel uh, could be the potential energy showing up for you in the next two week period of time. Now, I was hoping for something better. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Do not forsake the inference for being anything in terms of negativity. This is still a good card for some of you. All right. This is growth and expansion uh, in some type of uh, area or endeavor. And it's a card of beauty. All right. And also, too, is the relationship card. So it's a stronger indication as I get that as a relationship card, even though it's in the upright position to pay attention to the fact that you have the three of swords and then you also have the six of cups. And then the relationship card is right in the middle. What precedes that Capricorn is the stagnation and lack of progress in terms of in Yeah, some type of relationship not moving forward or in the direction that you would want it to be moved in. OK, so keep that in mind. All these factors are are coming to me and this is what I'm presenting to you. All right. So following the six of cups in the reverse position, Capricorn. Yeah. Now we have the nine of wands. So, of course, this is not always about feeling wounded, but because it's specifically under that three of swords, someone is feeling wounded and it's based on a relationship. Now, it may not be a romantic relationship. Some type of relationship where somebody is wounded or feeling hurt. Um, for others, this is the card of energy. And it's like you may have a lot of shit on your plate to cover. Multitasking, uh, a lot of errands to run, doing shit for family, doing shit for your, uh, you know, for your wife, your husband, um, your children. But that nine of one said that if you have a lot of stuff going on and you're a busy bee, you're going to have the energy to take care of. But I'm specifically getting a connection here with this nine of swords. Uh, I'm sorry, nine of wands in the upright. Someone is wounded. And I have to say that I talk in present tense, but this is future stuff. OK, so whenever I do. Just know that it's for this this energy here for the next two week period of time. Somebody will be wounded or will be getting hurt. Now, because the nine of wands represent fire. Could be a Capricorn dealing with a fire sign again. See the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Following that nine of wands energy now, Capricorn is well, good, good, good. So in spite of the three of swords, in spite of the nine of wands, the six of cups being in the reverse, you have some very powerful uh, major arcanas here. And I, rem you know, even if it's not the shadow, if it shows up in a regular reading, you're still to pay attention to the cards that show up just as if it was the tower that has shown up in the upright position. All right. So the sun does shine and smile on you. This is called a radiance. This is a relationship card. So we have two relationship cards showing up here. Now, I'm only giving a story based on uh, for someone based on the connections that I'm um, seeing here. OK, I do feel that this is going out to somebody. Could be from some someone from your past. Someone gets wounded. There's some grief. But anyway, we still have the sun shining on us. All right. So the sun is radiant. Uh, the sun is joy, success, happiness, um, success. So coupled with the Empress card, very positive in terms of uh, definitely somebody getting um, 
somebody could be doing uh, females could be doing pregnancy tests and there's this here was uh, this connection here even if the sun didn't show up I would still say that there's a positive result but this sun kicking it in even more to say if I can say extra positive it will be extra positive somebody's getting somebody will be pregnant now that may be a good thing that may be a good thing now if you wanted to tie it into the three of swords, maybe not a good thing. So if you're involved with a third party energy, you're the third party and then you end up pregnant, then that creates the three of swords energy. OK, then the two of wands is nothing moving. Stagnation. This card also the sun represents medical. I always pick up medical stuff with this uh, sun card. That could be routine checkups. That could be, you know, someone um, having, you know, if it's not you, Capricorn, someone that you may know, chemotherapy, radiation for cancer treatments, um, x-rays of all types, MRIs, CAT scans, chest x-rays, all types of things related to medical. The sun, though, however, is in the upright. It's still, if it was in the reverse, it would be okay. So if there are any medical procedures going on for you during this two-week period of time, uh, I just got a hit and maybe the three of swords represents someone that I uh, Capricorn may know if it is a Capricorn who may be having heart surgery. Somebody having heart surgery. That's the combination I'm getting right here. Or some sort of heart procedure like a catheter or something. All right. So anyway, you know what? Throw the comments and let me know. Always appreciate those comments. But this is a good card. It's a relationship. So you have two relationship cards and they're both major arcanas. I'm just specifically saying for those Capricorns to not to entertain someone who's coming back or wants to reach out to you from your past. If it is a romantic platonic or if it is family yes we can still be family but i can distance my ass from you and still love you but i don't have to deal with you okay so a lot of people get twisted up about uh you know it's hard for us to or hard for me to disconnect from my yes you can you can love them at a distance you ain't got to deal with them if they brought you any types of the six of cups energy so don't get it twisted here anyway I'm not advocating that you can do what you want, you know, because we all have free will. But I'm saying on a personal level, I, I don't entertain that. I don't entertain that stuff. You know what I mean? I can love my family, but if they've caused me grief, heartache, emotional stuff in the past, do I want the same to continue and moving forward? Or do I distance myself and say, hey, you know what? We're family. I still love you, but I ain't got to deal with your black ass. OK, so that's what I'm saying. So you can do whatever you want to do, but I'm just giving you a message that how I personally would handle this situation. And I'm saying this because somebody is dealing with that or is about to deal with this from someone from their past that may be family, ex lover or a friend that they haven't seen in a long period of time. And if it's a friendship specifically, they have not grown emotionally. They're still immature. OK, so be careful. Card that comes up after that sun, Major Arcana in the upright position. Capricorn is the Knight of Cups. So there we go. Knight of Cups is a relationship. It's in the reverse. Somebody is about to and it mirrors the, the uh, Nine of Wands. See, he's offering love, emotional support. But this could just represent, it is a court card, it's an actual person, but it could just represent the energies of what I'm picking up in terms of the connection with the Three of Swords. And I'm not saying by any means that this Three of Swords carries more weight than the major arcanas that are showing up here for your normal spread. No, this is still powerful energy. But remember, whenever I draw this, or the, you know, the shadow card and the, the focus, this is the focus for the two week period of time. In spite of whatever shows up here, this is the focus. So just be careful of that. So somebody gets handed a disappointment and someone is let down. 
This is emotional disappointment. This is somebody who is not there for you emotionally. So be careful. So it may be in connection with the six of cups from someone from your past, whether it be a friend, whether it be a family member, whether it be an ex-lover. They're not. See, their energy is still the same. Now, I do feel that it may be a true cancer that I'm talking to a Capricorn about this whole scenario. Anyway, the final card that I have for you, Capricorn. Oh, wow. So you have a mixture of energy, like I had said before, prior to this video stopping recording the last time. So you have another powerful, beautiful card here. Page of Cups, Daughter of Cups. It's an offering. Now, isn't that weird? So this is two court cards. It's still the Daughter of Cups mirrors not only the sun, but it also mirrors the Nine of Wands. So this is an offering. Someone wants to make, okay, So a different spin here could be that somebody wants to make peace because this is an offering. But this is the start of something new. So it could be just from this three card combination here, Capricorn, follow me if you will. Six of cups in the reverse, daughter of uh, cups in the uh, bottom or page of cups, and then you have the knight. So someone could be Wanting to apologize for some sort of past mistake that caused or created uh, some sort of angst or unhappiness or some sort of distance between you, someone from your past. For others, there's someone new here. This could represent the birth of a child. This daughter of cups could represent uh, a new friendship, a new romantic relationship. But someone also, too, wants to apologize for past emotional, um, you know, past emotional grievances. It's an offering. See, she's offering. This could be I'm sorry or, you know, what has created a distance between us. And even if that is the case, Capricorn, you still have free will. You still do not have to entertain. You can accept the apology and says, OK, I'm still fine with that. I accept your apology, but I'm, I'm still moving on. And, you know, the advice should be or could be for them. You need to do the same because all it comes down to is maybe that's all you wanted to hear, that somebody upset you from your past and they didn't even have the gall to apologize to say that they were sorry for what they you know for the pain that they created the three of swords energy so that's what i'm getting here capricorn this finishes your reading like i said before all cards are revealed now and you can create your own story and see what happens all right so from the magical times empowerment deck let's select the cards that complement your reading and uh, just to reiterate here, Capricorn, remember, the, don't get caught up with any illusions in any area, okay? And these are cups, so that represents relationships, could represent children. All right, so the card for you, Capricorn, is going to be Creation. And it says here, remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. Creation. Beautiful message. All right, Capricorn, once again, please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. Uh, sending you out quite a bit of love and light to you. Enjoy Mother's Day. Enjoy Cinco de Mayo safely. Till I talk to you again, Capricorn. Be well. Bye.